All right, guys, here's my workout for aesthetics. Uh, the muscle groups that are being worked today are my shoulders and legs. And here is the first lift. And this is a PR for me, guys, because strict overhead press, one plate for five reps. Uh, guys, like, this has been, like, a killer for me. Because last time uh, I did this exercise about a week ago, I only got about three reps with this. And I was just feeling like crap that whole day. But I guess I, I pretty much treated it as, like, a deload. I come back and I became even stronger. And, it, like, I was, like, so hyped about that. Oh, and uh, for this next set, you can tell there's a little something on the bar there. Not the fives, but the thing next to the five. They're micro plates. They're 1.25 pounds. I decided to invest in some. That way I can do progressive overload at a much quicker rate. Because it's hard. This, this, exercise, specific, uh, this exercise specifically is super, 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 super hard to add weight to. And I noticed that five pound jump increments for this exercise is like pretty much impossible for me so I decided to opt for 1.25 pounds which brings it up to 2.5 pounds in total weight of the bar so I just did that uh, second set with the micro plates uh, for this set I decided not to use them it's just uh, 115 pounds I guess for about eight reps so the strength was super good today guys on overhead press and I couldn't be more excited and this is the exercise that will build you those great boulder shoulders. The lateral head and the um, anterior deltoid really get hit really hard for this exercise. My second exercise I did for this was just a compound. I mean, it's just a compound for the shoulders, but I use, I use a machine because machine guys, they will save you. They are less taxing on your CNS, and that way you can get more volume into your shoulders without having to worry about dying on the inside. But anyways, that was set one. I just do about six reps. I kind of treat it like the incline machine press, basically, because it's just a second exercise and compound the shoulders, and it's really good. And I decided I try to retract the sorry I try to retract the scapula on this, but it kind of still got a little irritating in the shoulder area, and I'm going to assume I shouldn't probably be doing that. But anyways, I only do about three sets of this. I like to do straight sets with when it comes with machines because I think reverse pyramid training with machines is kind of I don't know, I, there's just something about it that I kind of don't like, and it's kind of pain in the butt to sit there and reset the pins and everything. So I decided just to do straight sets, which I really do like. And for this next exercise, we have lateral raises on the machine. Um, as you can tell, I uh, blocked up that chick that was sitting right there. Um, just all due to respect, but anyways, here's a rest pause sets with lateral raises. I do about 15 reps and I try to get 5 reps per mini set where uh, for 4 mini sets. So anyways, I did really well. I, I did uh, 5 reps for the first 3 mini sets, but that was just the 4th mini set that I could only get 4. Uh, my lateral head was just so freaking tired. But this is aesthetics guys, like, it may not really seem like it now because I'm wearing a freaking t-shirt that covers the main portion of what I'm exercising, but I'm telling you right now, the boulder shoulders are being made, especially since I broke past the super plateau of one plate on overhead press. And the goal of 2017, guys, is let's try and get that overhead press up. Honestly, I think I can get it at least probably near my body weight level in the overhead press. Like, well, I'm like my towards my like my lean uh, probability of the body weight. I probably want to get around. I can if I really, really, really tried. I think I can get up to like 180 by the end of the year. So I heard it first, guys. I'll add 40 pounds, sorry, 45 pounds to my OHP. It'll happen. Anyways, here is the first leg exercise. I only do two, and honestly, guys, I really hated it today. <laughs> Pistol squats did not want to work for me. I don't know why. Every time I come back to do this exercise, I always I feel like I'm getting way worse at it than I normally am. And I don't know, probably because I'm heavier and Christmas screwed me up, New Year's kind of screwed me up too, but... You know, let's let's not make excuses because I brought that upon myself, and here's my consequence: I suck at pistol squats. <laughs> my balance is no longer there. So I guess for the time being, I am going to start doing. Uh, I think I'm going to do high bar, back bar, uh, high bar squats. Um, in turn, in terms of this, um, my goal, I don't know, high bar, or low bar, whatever one I feel more comfortable with. 
But the reason why I kind of avoided them is because, I don't know, I just don't like them. And I'd rather do something cool. <laughs> Sorry not to spit off the people that I don't think. That I think squ squats are cool. I mean, I think they're... They they're, they're really are a good lift and they're a really good mass builder for the legs. But, I don't know, I just don't really like them that much. So I'd rather just do something cool. And this is what I did for calisthenics before... Well, when I got kicked, well, not kicked out of my gym, but I was kind of forced to leave my gym uh, from across the street. But anyways, uh, calisthenics-wise, uh, this is like the only thing you can do for legs because what can you do? I mean, you could do uh, Bulgarian split squats, but I think in terms of like how much uh, resistance you get, this is probably the best you're going to get with body weight. But anyways, yeah, from now on, I'm probably just going to start doing barbell back squats, so, yeah, I was irritated because <laughs> my balance, I just kept losing my balance, it was really irritating. Anyways, uh, some deadlifts. Deadlifts today, guys, I feel like my full, I think my form was as good as it's ever been. And right now I'm just warming up with one plate. I pretty much go in 20, uh, sorry, about 50 pound increments. Well, basically, I would do a set like this at a 25 and then add another 25. Well, basically, I do add a 25, then I add the next plate to 40, and then basically it pretty much went from 185 to 225 to 275 to 315. There you go. That's the rep scheme I had on today. And here's the second warm up set. I basically just <laughs> pyramid up to a one rep max of 315 with good form. And. At least I can get that out of the way because lately my form has been really crap when it comes to sumo deadlifts. But honestly, like, just check that out. I mean, I'm I'm more, I'm more or less paying attention to my back. As you can tell, my back is looking solid, but my back should look solid. This is only 185. I feel like toddlers can do this. But anyways. I know always noticed that with deadlifts, <laughs> anything above three reps is, like, killer for me. I hate doing deadlifts over three reps, to be completely honest. So I feel like it's not that I'm not capable of moving the weight, it's just so tiring. Anyways, here is the third, I guess you can say, warm-up set, but I don't, I don't even think so. I, I just kind of pyramid up to a peak set. So this is 225, I think I can do about three reps of this. And I like to keep an overhand grip on both. Uh, up until, after the point of 225, that's when I do an under-over grip. That's when I find it that's probably more useful, but for the time being, I just like doing that. And anyways, here is the next set, which is 275. I just throw in 25s on the side. Uh, I decided not to use Olympic weights because, to be completely honest, they're kind of a pain in the butt to put on because there's no handles, and 45s are really easy to put on that way. So, screw you, Olympic weights. You're like toddler weights. Look at you. Freaking... Even the 25s above those 45s. You see that, guys? Would you... And look at the 45s that I have on the bar. If you put those 45s next to those 25s, you would not tell the difference between the two. It's bullcrap. Screw you, CrossFit. I don't like you. Anyways. 275 is going up really smooth. My back is looking really good. I'm kind of doing, like, the little trick I think Omar taught me. This one was, um... You kind of thrust your butt up into the air, and you come back down, because it kind of gets rid of some of the slack in the bar. I felt... It personally, it kind of gets rid of the slack, but anyways, I'm gonna be doing two sets of a one rep max of 315. Well, I don't know, I wouldn't call it one rep max, but it's just more. This is just all I want to attempt because I didn't want to go so much farther than that. And here we are. So here's set number one, and let's do this, guys. 315, good form. Can I do it? Oh, look at that! Like little, like no rounding whatsoever. That form was so much better. And the last minute sumo deadlifts. Last time my back was going crazy, but I think it's just due to the fact that I've been doing a lot of lower back accessory work, like uh, glute ham raises and no, well, basically it's ra it's it's weighted glute ham raises that I've been doing at the end of every workout. Well, uh, pro not the exceptions of these days where I think I got enough lower back work from doing deadlifts, but um, I normally do uh, glute ham raises on like uh, Wednesday and Friday after chest triceps back biceps but you know it's all good there i am determined to build my booty for them ladies and it's just the stretch guys the more stretch you get the more of the weight stretch you get uh that's that's what builds the mass guys 
even Alpha Destiny can quote me on this. Well, I'm gonna quote him on this because he actually says this crap. He advocates it, and I personally believe it. So anyways, here, that was the workout for my shoulders and legs, for aesthetics, and huzzah. Aesthetics and, I guess, functionality, but whatever. And I was freaking out at the end of the set. Bye-bye.